In a world, four friends, one mission, to bring freedom to everyone involved. Dude, what the fuck are you doing? I'm doing a thing for the podcast. Dude, just say the name. <sighs> Fine. It's the Freedom Friends Podcast. Is this thing on? You know what this tastes like? The first time you get crabs? It tastes like another. I just figured it was spicy. I don't know. Pepper and spice. It's kind of the, the flavor profile for both crabs and that cigar. Stinks like sex in here. You're welcome. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck boys! <laughs> it's Thursday. We're sitting in a circle. There's a stick in my hand. That can only mean one fucking thing. Johnny boy. We're about to masturbate, boys. You're goddamn right. <laughs> it is time for a Freedom Friends Master Debate. Solving the world's problems. One mediocre dick joke at a time. <laughs> and uh, Justin, how this works, everybody. Uh, I'm Mikey. That's Jazz. This is John and Scott over here. And we're here to mouth fuck your ear holes. Yeah. Ooh. We're about to fuck your ears with some ch- truth and save the world. But how this works is we ask our producer extraordinaire, Justin, over there for a topic every week. We go into this cold. We have no fucking clue what's happening. And we debate a weird Because that's so much topic. different from every fucking thing else that we do. True. <laughs> You're not wrong. <laughs> You're not wrong. Uh, I see, Justin. I see a pattern here. <laughs> <laughs> what, do you, uh, what do you got for us, buddy? All right, boys. All right, All right boys. boys. Yeah. Fuck, so, I missed uh, that. So this, uh, this week's debate was sent in by uh, Mr. Chris Freeman, good friend of the show. Yeah. yeah. And he wants to know, would y'all rather know when you're going to die or how you're going to die? When? I like the surprise. Hmm. Fuck. Oof. What a weird question. On well, I think how would lead into when, because <laughs> maybe it could. I would. Re- so here's why I say, ooh. So this is hard, God, right? Because each one of them comes across <laughs> as essentially a self fulfilling prophecy, right? right? So like, if you know when you're gonna die, everything's just prep for that. So you're definitely gonna die on that date, right? But at the same time, if you know how you're going to die, you're going to do everything you can to avoid that. Well, either that or prove them wrong. But, but, but see, that's... But it's inevitable. Yeah, but if I knew how... Like, I'm going to die of cancer. Ah, the fuck I am. You know what I'm going to do? Not die of cancer. Or or it's like, <laughs> hey, you're going you're gonna, to you're gonna die... When's your wife's birthday? Oh, Jazz, you're not... Gonna... Stop <laughs> trying to get him early. <laughs> <laughs> September 22nd. But, but, oh, okay. but, all right, let's say it's like... Let's say you pick, you know, like how you're gonna die, and it's like you're gonna die oh. in a car accident. Cancer. Yeah, she's not a cancer, so <laughs> it won't be her. Oh, okay. But like, let's say it's like you're gonna die in a car accident, and it's like, or let's say it's even vaguer than that. You know, you're gonna die of blunt force trauma. You're like, well, fuck. <laughs> I, would, I would rather I would know. Like, well, of course I am. I would rather know how, and not when, because if you know when. Then you you're you're inevitably up until that point in time, waiting. For, you know, you're like you know, I only have X yeah, but, amount of time left. But if you know the date, are you just like doing whatever the fuck you want yeah, to so at that point because you know I you're safe? A, I have a question. Well, at least, yes. but, but you'll be you, able to set yourself but, up and your but family if, if up. If you or know how, up, like, right? You know how. But not so when. all of a sudden one day, you're like, oh, I fucking love everyone, yeah. and that's it. But you're not sorry. That was my pinky. But you're not like leading up to this one day where you know oh, this is fucking it. You know what I mean? Like it just oh, okay, yep. But if oh, you, I die because of X, I have to go with and, when and, and not the. Well, the thing, thing is, though, is not because knowing I, I when. I think I though, would dodge too much shit. I think yeah. I would be like, but not no, knowing, no, no, not knowing when is what makes stuff, life exciting. Imagine the stuff you wouldn't have to dodge anymore if you knew what was going to kill yeah. you. Yeah, yeah. Like let's say, I, let's, I'm let's never. Say, gonna, I mean, I'm never going to die driving fast. Down. Yeah. I'm not you know gonna I mean? die because of a bullet. Fucking put me in, coach. Yep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah. All right. Like if this All could right. not be changed, either one of those would be great. Like I'm going to get my skydiving uh license this month. Yeah, so so say hey, I wouldn't even Mikey, jump with a parachute. You're, 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 you're <laughs> say it's like, I have a question for you. If it doesn't work and you hit the earth, is that still blunt force trauma? No, no. Yes. But but say <laughs> that's just but, it. So yeah. Much. That's what I'm but, saying. Like if it's vague, it's like, well fuck follow but up question. You, you don't die. Why don't we call 40, stabbling for 40 more years? Trauma. You can jump out and not pull that bitch. Yeah. Because you know you're gonna make right? it. 
Now, granted, but you know might, that it, it's coming. Uh, now, you might not die, but that doesn't mean you're not going to fucking breathe in machine. Vegetable for 39 <laughs> and a half of them, right? <laughs> right? Like, so. I, I know a guy that had a kind of a rough landing. Richard, love you, guy. Uh, <laughs> I've got a buddy of mine, another buddy named, I have way too many friends named Bill. Uh, but this guy, you met him. With Big Bill? No. The Bill that we build the thing with? No. <laughs> Uh, the, was, yeah, yes, you do have a lot of friends, uh, right? No, you met him at my house. He had, had the has the sticker company. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that bill. So that bill got out because his shoot didn't open in the army. Yeah, he, that's how he got out of the army, and he landed and broke seventy two bones. Well, fuck, Woo. he should have got a case of beer from his rigor. And uh, but like, but you met him. He walked into my house, walked out of my house, yeah. like seventy two bones. Fuck that rigor. No, <laughs> right? no shit well maybe pull your fucking reserve <laughs> no he did it's the only thing that saved his life but they were jumping combat so they were so he popped it they they jumped it like bro nine. that's when i cut that bitch away on the way to, as soon as that reserve opens i'm slicing that bitch and no, look out jump- below bitch <laughs> so <laughs> i'm already the lowest jumper so just hit anybody <laughs> just as actual airborne he jumped it like 900 feet Oh yeah. yeah, that's not a lot of that's not a lot of <laughs> yeah. response time. Yeah, that's, at 900 that's one thousand, two thousand, three thousand, four thousand, and prepare to land. Yeah. <laughs> so he jumped at nine hundred feet. I've done nine hundred foot jumps. It's main fucking- didn't <laughs> deploy, and he got the reserve, and it like half inflated, and he hit the ground. All right, I had a question, Dave. You, how, what height did you jump? Twelve hundred. Twelve hundred. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, they, was, I was just trying. He was, he was, he was, twelve to fifteen. He's twelve was, to fifteen. I was just trying to put it in perspective. Twelve to three thousand. I jumped to three thousand. <laughs> I was trying to, but normally yeah. when you're when, was you're, amazing. when, when you're not jumping rounds, you pull it three. Yeah. 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 So he jumped combat load, combat height, and he pulled it. But the reserve only happened, and he hit the ground, broke seventy two bones. Wow. So and still walks. John and I have met but, a uh, golden knight who burned in. Uh, yeah, Richard Young, and he should have died. The best part is he, on a package of cigars that we sent him. Yes, I put the meme of the little kid doing this number right here, and it said went skydiving, didn't die. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that was after he was like, we knew he was going to. Yeah, he was in recovery. At it this was point. <laughs> it was a, a long recovery for him. And uh, oh, they, he, he got. I med- remember when that happened. Yeah, yeah. He yeah. Got, he hey, got whenever discharge you get, out of the whenever you get hit by the earth at terminal velocity, yeah, yeah. It, that <laughs> no, takes no, a minute. No. It's he, like he. You're right. I'm kidding. Yeah. Just kidding. That's a guy who's a pro at a PLF. A, a guy though, like man. that gets hit by Earth. It's kind of like Chuck yeah, Norris. Yeah. He does push down or Earth ups, it, not he, push ups. Yeah. He, <laughs> he doesn't do push ups. He earth pushes downs, the Earth down. Earth yeah. yeah. This guy hit, got hit by the world he at did. terminal velocity. <laughs> it takes a minute to recover from. Sure. Sure. That's a big fucking dodgeball. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we make fun of you. Right? Shit. <laughs> yeah. He couldn't even dodge the Earth. I mean, don't worry. I'm going. So <laughs> there's actually, there's a. By book. the way, that is amazing. Yeah, I'm stoked about it. Yeah, I'm stoked about it. Shout out to uh, WNR Vets. They uh, found a grant to uh, pay for my skydive training. Oh, so sweet. Uh, yeah, they're, I'm going down to, to our good friends down in Skydive Palaka, Palaka, Florida, where RCPD is. And uh, yeah, so the week while all the students that are in the jump school are going through that, I'll be jumping squares. Nice, nice. And then, You're gonna have a lot of fun with that. Well, I'm, I'm so there's a there's a. Have you jumped that before? Tandem. I've done I've you're, done you're three have, I've done three tandem jumps. It's, it's a little different. You're gonna have a lot of fun with it though. Yeah, I'm stoked. Yeah. But I mean, they're doing it right though. They're gonna put me in a tunnel for like ten minutes. Like, let me fucking learn how to like balance and control and everything. And they're like spatial awareness. Well, the thing is, they were like, look, t- with the invention of the tunnel, right? Yeah. It's, well, it's, it, it's it's made skydiving so it's much safer. less mechanical. Yeah. yeah. Than than jumping round. But you don't have to figure it out on your way down. Right. <laughs> well, because right. jumping around is very mechanical. It's very low. You jump. You count. And then you prep for you prep for land. Like yeah. it's a it's a very turn the wind. You're it's extremely military. Gravity does everything. Yeah. It's extremely military. Sure. Skydiving is a it's a completely different animal. Mm. Well, I'm gravity, excited for it though. Gravity's still. And plus, we're gonna have like it's still foreign. It's jump- kind of the only thing in play <laughs> at fact. that point. It's yeah. Still on. Well, there's foreign jump masters coming, and I want some free fall wings. I want some fucking. Uh, yeah. I think that'll be dope. So I'm gonna get some fucking. Free fall wings. So well. if you jump with a U.S. free fall instructor or jump master, mm-hmm. do you get U.S. free fall wings? You get around canopy wings, RCPT no, wings. No, free fall ones. Doing free fall? Yeah. Um, so that depends. 
Well, I guess the only free fall wings are Halo, and you're not doing that. So right, yeah, okay, right, yeah. Halo wings are totally different. They're really beast. cool. Yeah, no. They're super cool. Yeah. Technically, the other badge that I was, if I was still in and wanted to go after, as I want that fucking the combat diver, the bubble, scuba. The, bu- the, scuba the scuba bubble, bubble. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, fucking, fucking. Uh, that's a dope badge. Yeah. That's a hard school. It is. So that's a hard I was fucking at that school. school. The, I, was, I was at that school. Yeah. The, the SF guy hard. that I when I dropped the boy off at Key West. Yeah. Like where we were staying, I literally drove down it to the point where it said no more driving down here. No. Uh, yeah. But it's right there. We drove with the jet skis around it. Yep. yep. Yeah. It's fucking, it's a difficult fucking school. The we, SF guy went to film school wh- with, when I, when I drove a hat and on his hat, he had his scuba bubble. Nice. And this was a, this was a long tabber, like yeah. a le- lost a leg kind of yeah. like, well, it's, it's a hat jack, man thing, but he, out of all the skill badges that he had, the one that he kept on his hat was the fucking scuba bubble because he was like, nobody fucking has this thing. When, when it, <laughs> like it's Every when, recon guy in the Marines does, but no it, cares. It's Michelle and I, shit. one it's morning. It's half jack. It's half the jack. So Michelle and I, one morning when we were having a cigar, we'd like, we're driving around the base. We drove down there and there was this chick running from there to there, you know, and uh, she was probably 55-ish and just cut. Like just, <laughs> you could tell she was one hard bitch. Yeah. And, uh, she was, I don't know what she, what her job was or anything, but I knew she she's was probably the, an instructor. Yeah. yeah. And, or, or she's the admin girl. Yeah. But <laughs> either way, but like, just super just, into CrossFit. Like just watching her run this route. I'm like, mm, that's a chick you don't want to fuck with. Yeah. I would love to have a beer with her. Yeah. Yeah. While she drinks you under the table. Right. Yeah. <laughs> You're sitting there all just sloppy and yeah. she's like, we, we had a guy. Another round? Yeah. Or, yeah. We, fucking, we had a guy in our platoon. Uh, his brother was, uh, uh, high speed motherfucker, SF dude. Uh, had a scuba bubble, ended up getting uh, killed in action. Damn. And so he wore his brother's scuba bubble underneath the flap of his pocket yeah. until he became high speed. Sully. Then he moved uh, his bubble. Yeah. And then he moved his bubble. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Nice. I have one at home. I have one at home. Uh, I had aspirations to do that at one point. Yeah. Uh, a buddy of mine also, he didn't die in combat. He died um, on a motorcycle accident. But um, he'd given me his. He gave me one of his for when it happened, hmm. and then um, and my gold wings. I have his gold wings too. Nice. So, when I was supposed to go get my thing, my Delta buddy was going to fly down, yeah, and give me his snow cone, yeah, yeah, so that it would get so. That's we he was king sham around here, but he was going to give me his <laughs> his wings, so that he was like he was like I know they're going to give you whatever fucking wings they have. But Are there any from one army guy to another? I'm going to give you. This is way off topic about us dying. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> Oh, snow cone. I'm gonna go oh, I with, said flow cone. My bad. I'm going to go with nice. <laughs> nice. I'm going to go with date. I want to go, go with, I'm going to go, go with how. when. I'm going with how. I'm, I'm going to go with how. when. I don't want to know when. Mm. I'm going to go it with takes all, It sucks all the fun out of no, life. No. I want to be halfway into whatever incident that's going to kill me and be like, oh. <gasps> Here we go. <laughs> I've been waiting my whole life for this. Yeah, but, but what if it's literally a car accident? Yeah, I'm gonna every go with time you get in okay, the car, but, you're gonna but go what like, if, what if I'm it's... only taking my motorcycle. <laughs> well, I'm not a car. Well, that's what I'm saying. What if it's super vague and it's just like blunt force trauma? What if it's in your sleep? Yeah. I'm, well, ta- you know I'm, I'm, I'm fucking I'm going with win. I'm, I'm, ta- I'm taking I can do whatever the fuck I want <laughs> yeah. to up to that date. Yeah. Well, you know, I'm, I'm taking the win because there's some decisions. If it's in my I sleep, make. I'm doing whatever the fuck. It I would want. change a <laughs> lot. Yeah. It would. If I knew when, it's going to change a lot of the decisions like I'm making it, going like forward. Like if it was three years from now, sorry, but warfighters, we're gonna we're gonna do a lot more risking. <laughs> right. Yeah. You know, like, no, hundred percent. If it was like you got thirty six <laughs> months, I'm gonna be like, oh shit's about to get risky. Like shit's about to be like. Well, I mean, like, I, as you guys know, I just recently joined the ranks of the 40 year olds, right? Uh-huh. A decade that both of my parents didn't make it out of. Wow. Welcome. Like, so, like, my, my mom died at 48, my dad at 47. So, statistically speaking, yeah. if hereditary law is a thing, which it's not, but let's say it was. No, was it because of. Nothing fun. Okay. <laughs> nothing, but I mean, nothing. like, was it something that, like, was it like like genetically what? speaking? So the mom's, is it something the that's mom's specific? side was a little bit more genetic than let's the dad's. Fa- let's side. face well, it, my, my dad, my dad was multiple sclerosis. Yeah, S- stupidity's stupidity's not. No, you trigger hereditary. <laughs> you trigger. By Have now. you met Mikey? Yeah, <laughs> you'd yeah. be seeing things by now if it was MS. Maybe, maybe my dad didn't. My dad fucking dropped quick. Like, yeah, but you'd at least start seeing. So it, MS actually works by it's a tearing of the myelin sheath within your spinal cord. Mm-hmm. You'd start seeing stuff. My ex-wife had it. Yeah. And you'd already start, you'd start 
with the amount of impact that you've had on your body, you'd start seeing. But so I don't I'm not. Yeah. Then again, I'm also retarded and I don't go to the doctor for anything. So. <laughs> it, yeah, but you still have like full motor function and like all that. Kind of well, stuff, so. Jury's out. <laughs> that's, that's mental function, not motor. I know they're both M's. Um, See, is, I just mentioned my, anything M and Mikey just heard Marine. Is so it's just a, well, then my mom, grunt. my mom passed away from complications due to cancer. She had uh, Hodgkin's. So she had a little fun. Is brutal. Yeah, she uh, beat that it. That shit's rowdy. So she beat that. It's kind of a fucked up story. And had I known then what I know now, I probably could have fucking sued the fuck out of her doctor for malpractice. But essentially, they put a Grishant tube in, like a main line, into her chest. It's supposed to be in there for six months. Hit in there for five years. Holy shit. And that thing eventually. And no doctor ever told her that that had to come out. Oh, my God. So yeah, she, that's, that's how she was taking her injections and shit, because the chemo had ruined her fucking veins. That's like veins. a pick line. Like, you, Essentially. you can wear it for a while, but it's not supposed to be like a implant. Yeah, exactly. And nobody told her that. And because of that fact, she eventually got infected, you know, yeah. and fucking that infection is what grew and ended up killing her. Okay. So you probably don't have MS. Don't get anything implanted in your chest. Well, oh. yeah, right. So, so far. We got yeah. you to 50. So far, just added right. 10 years onto your life. Maybe. But you factor in the stupidity and it might be you know, <laughs> yeah. 41. And look at me. It's me. So how, <laughs> how or when? Huh? How or when? When? Oh, how? I'm still, I'm sticking with how. Yeah, I want to know how. when. Yeah. And you, you guys both have when. And well, yeah, we both 100% have how. when. Yeah. I want to know how, not when. Oh, fuck that. Yeah, I, it's, well, cause like you and said, if it's, it's like you're in your sleep, I'll be like, fucking A. Cause like you said, it's if it's vague, if it's like, well, it's going to be, you know, whatever well it's gonna be an illness what the fuck like what <laughs> it, no yeah, but right. when if i know when it's like it's definitely on this day well and you can fucking i can do whatever the fuck yes. i want to up to that point the, your decision making will be more but that's what i'm saying driven. Though. Ah, i can bring cocaine back into rotation but here's the thing though <laughs> <laughs> here's the here's the here's the things though okay let's say you're like you're like all right fucking december fucking 5th of 2026 Whatever, i'm you know, self-employed want to get drug right? tested i'm fucking dying fuck it so i'm gonna go fucking ham da, 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 da. and then three days later you get fucking vegetableized <laughs> and now right. you're sitting there on a fucking breathing machine until december 25th of whatever the fuck you know what i mean it's like fuck no, my wife's already been told if that ever happens but, to the point it, where I can but, be unplugged, but it fucking doesn't work that way ass. though. If you only die on that day, yeah, I'm still going with win. <laughs> like I'm not going to try to convince you otherwise. I'm still going with win. I don't know. I think knowing when would just take the fucking luster out of what, like living. No, Fuck I, that. I, I, no. I think it's opposite. It'll so be- if Scott and I got an email tomorrow that said, "Hey, you guys are dying on this day." I think Scott and I are calling each other and being like, all yeah. right, so how fucking weird are we getting well, between now and this date? Because if it's like in my 80s and life goes on like normal. Yeah, then right? I don't give a fuck. But if it's like three, four years from now, then I'm like, all right, I'm going to make some decisions that like I'm going to start that bucket list shit. Right. Way or, like now. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Like tomorrow. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Like tomorrow. Right? And I kind of like I know my father's side as far as health is concerned. And that's still in the 70s. I'm cool with that. Yeah. My mother was adopted, so I don't know fuck all from that side. But uh, so far, I've dodged everything. So like, even right down to like, both my parents wear glasses, and I don't need them. Yeah. Like, I still have perfect vision. So, shit like that. So I'm not super worried about the whole genetic thing. I think if anything's gonna take me, it's gonna be I get old and shit just starts shutting down, or I'm gonna do something stupid, and that's what's gonna take me yeah. out. So I'll take the. I'm gonna go. I'm sticking with win. Yeah, me too. So there used to be a thing, and I'm looking for it now. There used to be um, the death clock. The yeah, the death clock. It just randomized, dude. Yeah, I know, but I think it'll be fun to do it for each one of us. <laughs> <laughs> I got to pulled up here, Mikey. The death clock. When am I gonna die? So let's see here. Date of birth. I'll do uh, jazz. What's your what's your July tenth. So 10. 84. And your social? <laughs> Mother thing. Fuck, you Mother thing. What are you going to do? Fix my credit? Knock yourself out. <laughs> are you doing it, Justin? I went through a rowdy fucking divorce, but knock yourself out. You want to steal you my identity? You can open a bunch of credit accounts. It's probably just good for me at this point. <laughs> so, so Your mode. Are you normal, pessimistic, sadistic, or optimistic? Sadistic. Bam. Your BMI, you're under 25%. 100%, 125%. 100, Smoking status. Currently, yes, please. Smoker. Check your death clock. 
Actually, it says, I'm sorry, but your time has expired. Have a nice day. What the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> you're, you're on borrowed time. Yeah, <laughs> according to this, Saturday, April 21st, 2018, you were supposed to fucking dr- drop it, pal. Fuck your stats. Borrowed right time. Up. Borrowed time's always good, right? Borrowed time. Gotta love it. Truth. Let me check me. Into... Look at that. You're talking to a dead man. What's up? All right. What do you want to know? Okay. I got, what's I got, it feel like? Um, uh, you know when you jerk off with a with your off hand? So mine is Thursday, December. It's a lot like that. December third, <laughs> Thursday, December third. <laughs> Nothing but frustration and broken <laughs> dreams. <laughs> yeah, twenty forty eight. It's like it's huh? familiar, but not familiar enough. Like it's a lot like that. All right. So mine's Thursday, December third, twenty forty eight. Jazz is already dead. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Let's see here. He's Only on the inside yeah, for a long time. Now. John <laughs> birthday. Me? Yeah. 72482. See, if it's cancer, John could kill you. No, I'm a Leo. Oh, that's right. It breaks over, doesn't yeah. it? On like the 19th or days. some shit. Yeah. May 7th, 2049. On a Friday. Oh. Bar fight. <laughs> so it doesn't tell you how, it just tells you when. See? Dude, you got like 30 years left in you. Where do we, how do we put in BC on this? Well, I don't know. <laughs> Scotty? Just uh, put, <laughs> you can't kill an 11, 11 23, 1979. Six. 79. Six. <laughs> 23 November. Do, do they have Roman numerals on there? <laughs> <laughs> Just put a negative before it. It'll figure it out. <laughs> uh, Thursday, October 11th, 2046. Jazz, I did all of us normal. I'm going to redo you normal. What's your uh, date again? Oh, because oh, you put in sadistic. <laughs> yeah, and it killed you. <laughs> <laughs> July 10th, 84. All oh, you 80 babies. Cute. <laughs> it's cute. <laughs> Whatever, Grandpa. <laughs> Literally. Like Friday, April 21st, 1st. 2051. I'm outliving all you sons of bitches. Yeah, Yeah, so apparently, we're all kind of close in in time, though. Um, Let's see here. Why am I going to be last? I don't want to be last. I'm 2048. John's 2049. I was 46. You're 2046. So you're first. Makes makes sense. sense. And then 2051. I feel like they're applying the Yeah, that seems like the the average age. Yeah, that's literally the same fucking time bracket. What's the average age? For a lifespan in the United States right now, because that's pretty much what like seventy three or whatever. Fingers. Oh, that's exactly what that is. Yeah, it's just giving the, me the, the average the lifespan. Dates are spaced by. But the if you're sadistic, apparently you just fucking. You're already dead. I'm already dead. <laughs> I'm dead inside. Like I said, it's just the inside. Uh, just on the inside. Fun fact: the median age in the U.S. is thirty eight point one years. No, what's the average death age? Oh, average lifespan of an American citizen. Not the, the average age. The median age would be. The half life. I was going to say the term middle age. Thirty eight, man. Seventy eight point seven nine years. Almost eighty years. Let's call it eighty. I'm good with that. I'm fine with that. I'm Eighty's good. a hell of a run. I'm not thinking I'm going to like my body. You know, by 80. the time we get to sixty, we'll <laughs> yeah. probably extend our life another fifty years. Tech- well, I'll pass. We won't. Fucking pass. Yeah, pass. You don't think so? Only no. if you go to the doctor. Fuck if I'm eighty. <laughs> yeah. No, 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 no. By the time you're fifty. Wait, no, that's not going to work. That's like ten years from now. Yeah, maybe was, seventy-five. That didn't give us much timeline, there, buddy. <laughs> maybe seventy-five. Fuck, we we're supposed to have hoverboards and self-tying shoes by now. Yeah, well, we got them. No, sort of. No, we got self-tying shoes. It's called Velcro. No, <laughs> no, you put them on <laughs> and you just Jess, fucking... Jess, Crocs don't have laces. Nike made a fucking. They, they did. They made, <laughs> they, so the Nike they bags. It. They did it. But they're like 14 grand, oh, and yeah. there's only like 20 pair that exist. Okay, hoverboard. But not one wheel's the best we got. <laughs> That's not hovering. <laughs> no, not even close. Unless you get a fucking, unless you get like a drone underneath you. What? That's not, that can't be fun. No, it's got to look like a skateboard, like Back to the Future. Well, you got to get, instead of propeller drive drones, you got to get jet powered drones, and then you'll be. Then and you'll and be, you can go all of three feet before right. you run out of fuel. Yeah. True. Then yeah. you come crashing to earth. <laughs> yeah. For four okay. inches. No. Mikey can't pilot his shit and it's connected to the earth, let alone one that's floating. I think that's more user error. <laughs> I've only fallen down like three times. How many times have you used it? Four. No. I use it a bunch, man. I use, I use it all the time. What are you talking about? 
I still use a fucker. <laughs> to go to your mailbox and back? Yes. <laughs> Matter of fact. <laughs> oh, fuck. All right, fucking Mikey, sign us off. Jesus yeah. Christ. Fucking like, share, subscribe, smash those fucking buttons. And whether you're dying today or you're dying 50 years from now, fuck it, man. Live your fucking best life. Yeah, yeah and dude. You know what? Three little things to fucking live that life by. Smoke on. Drink, drink on. on. God damn it, boys. Freedom, Freedom to, to fuck, fuck on. on. See you next time. Oh, it's brought to you by Warfighter Tobacco and Obama, so US. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. This episode made the cut. <laughs> <laughs>